guys and welcome back to another wholesale and dropshipping vendor review video now if this is the first time you're watching my videos then i review a wholesale and dropshipping vendor every single thursday so if you're interested in that type of content do feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on my review videos when they come out every thursday and of course if you've missed my previous review videos there's going to be a link below this video to a playlist where you can watch all the previous episodes where i've previously reviewed so many other vendors that you can use for your online store okay so thanks once again for stopping by today and I've got another wholesale vendor I'm going to be reviewing to you guys today now this wholesale vendor is going to be slightly different it's not going to be a clothing try on review but it's going to be a handbag review so I thought to switch it up and try other products because I know some of you guys did mention you wanted me to review vendors that actually sell things like handbags and accessories as opposed to just clothing so I've got a handbag review video for you guys this vendor also sells clothing but I decided to try out their handbags and just to see what the quality looks like and also to give you guys more of a variety in terms of the type of reviews that I'm giving you guys okay because I know you all sell different types of products in your online stores so if you're interested in finding out who this wholesale handbag vendor is then do stay tuned and watch this video till the end So the wholesale vendor I'm going to be reviewing today is actually a clothing wholesale vendor who also sell accessories and handbags and other products on their website. So the name of this wholesale vendor is Mikari. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Mikari, Mikari.com. Um, that's their website. Um, so I've got a few handbags here that I'm going to be reviewing to you guys. So in terms of location, this wholesale vendor is actually, I, I tried to figure out where they were located and I came across a Facebook page and it mentioned that they're based um, in Germany, but they have branches in Europe and China as well. And I think they also have a USA branch and um, I think I was reading some information about them and I came across something to do with them also having distribution centers in the USA so I feel like they have different warehouses in different places in the world do you need a seller's permit no you do not need a seller's permit to purchase from this vendor which is amazing so you can go on and purchase products from them do they offer a dropshipping service unfortunately they do not offer a dropshipping service Boo. so if you're looking into dropshipping then this is probably not the best vendor to use are there any minimum order requirements or can you order any samples from them there's no minimum order requirement which is amazing and you can order sample products from them as well but i believe the more products you order from this vendor however the lower the cost price per product so if you're ordering maybe one product like i did it may cost you say seven dollars but if you're ordering a packet of 10 the cost price may come down to five dollars per unit so the more you order the less the cost price per product okay in terms of shipping shipping was actually really fast because i ordered these products on the 30th of august and i received them on the 5th of september so it took exactly five working days for me to receive these products which was pretty pretty fast and when i look at the return address label it actually sh shows a UK based company um, so I believe this vendor have distribution centers in different parts of the world so if you're based in the United States it's probably going to come from a USA um, distribution warehouse um, that's just my guess don't quote me on that but I ordered from them and it actually came from a UK based warehouse and they do mention that they have distribution centers in Europe and China and the USA so I'm guessing that these products will be delivered to you based on what part of the world you're based in one other thing I realized was their prices seem kind of high especially for the clothing i feel like the cost price of the products are really 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 high it looks to me more like retail prices as opposed to wholesale prices um you can go ahead and have a look at your products as well and let me know below what you think about your prices i just feel like it's too high and i'll struggle to resell these products um, unless these products are really really premium quality i don't think i want to use them as a wholesale vendor because i'll struggle to essentially compete with them so i'm purchasing a, a dress for example for 19 dollars to resell for how much because i feel like i was just shopping from a normal retail store um who already have the prices bulked up so i don't really know why they consider themselves 
wholesale vendors but some of the products are cheap enough to be considered wholesale prices but I feel like a lot of the products are more on the high side in terms of cost and I would struggle to scale if I was using them as my wholesale vendor but you guys can check out their website and let me know below what you think about your prices or if it's just me being paranoid about the whole thing okay in terms of the shipping again I received two separate packages so the first package arrived within five working days and the second package arrived two days later so that was around seven days in total so I don't know why the products came separately um, I'm sure they're probably coming from different places um, as I previously mentioned because they have different distribution centers in different places apparently so now we got that out of the way let's get right into the unboxing and review of these products so the products came in again I received two separate packages I haven't actually opened this one but they all came in packages like so polymela bags so let's unbox this one you see I'm unboxing this for the first time as well and I think this one is the pink oh, two piece or two set sorry two set bag that I got okay so I don't see any labels at all there's no labels or invoices in there so I'm sure you can get away with drop shipping the products but I don't quote me on that it probably only works for some of the products you know you may order other products and they will arrive with invoices and labels in them so yep so that's what the bag came like it's got this transparent bag, nothing else to it. Um, okay, and this is what the bag looks like. Again, I'll insert a picture of the original product on the website. Okay, it's a good quality feel um, bag. It's like a soft leather. I love big bags. I love tote bags like this, like so. So this is what the bag looks like. So it's got like a red color here and it's got a blush pink color on this other side and then inside the back it's got this little purse as well I'm sure you can use it for your business cards and other little things your phone um, money other little things can go in here as well and it's like a pink color again it's like a soft leather it feels really great I actually love it the quality feels good it's like a nice soft leather I was expecting this type of material because I know it's typical of you know this sort of tote large bags and I'm gonna show you what the inside of the bag looks like um, so this is what the inside of the bag looks like you can see the bottom here it's got these buttons I'm sure you can button them here like so so that's it buttoned and unbuttoned so it only has a button and there's nothing else in there there's no additional pockets inside the back or anything like that um oh, oh let's put it that way and then it's got this sort of handles the handles are quite long as you can see it's really long really really long I'm just trying to figure out how to work the whole thing yeah that looks so much better I was wondering why the hands were so big and um, but that was just me trying to figure out how it works so it's like a double hand for each side and then it's got this to sort of support it so so yeah it's a lovely bag it's a good bag and it's got two colors and two layers to it which is good it gives it a nice different unique type of feel it looks quite luxury you know and I can fit in so much in here I can fit in my what my laptop I can use this for work I can even hang it like this as you can see I can hang it like so I can hang it like so or I can hold it like this and the bottom of the back obviously has both layers of both colors there as well I can put in so much I can even use it as a diaper bag um, you know if I'm going out and about with my daughter I can put things in here it can carry quite a lot of things but I love the fact I can put my laptop here because I'm a bit of a workaholic I literally work everywhere I go so super handy now let's go to the next product this is the product that I'm slightly disappointed in so this is what it came looking like I'll insert a picture of the product it just looks to me like 
I mean, it's a nice soft leather bag, but I'm gonna show you what the hands look like. I feel like you can see the bottom is there, the hands are somewhere. You can hold it like this, which is cute, but I was expecting it not to be so small. I mean, I get it, it's a nice satchel um, bag, but the size is smaller than I thought. I don't even know what I can fit into this or where I can take this to. It's cute and all, but maybe just my phone will fit in here. Um, and one thing that actually enticed me to the product was this ribbon um, that if included inside the bag, I'm sure I need to put them across myself. So that's what it looks com comes looking like. Or oh, instead of what the original picture of the product looks like, you can see that's the ribbon. And then it's got this extra rope as well. I'm sure I need to put that through this holes here. I'm sure it has to go through these holes. Um, you can tell I'm, I don't really like anything that will inconvenience me, okay? Because now I need to go through the process of putting all this through these holes here. I just thought it would come with a belt already on it. But I guess it's supposed to look something like this. I don't know. I'm just quickly trying to duplicate what I saw on their website, okay? But this is basically the ribbon and it looks like so. But I don't know if it's just me, but it doesn't really look like what I expected it to look like. I don't know guys, let me know below if you think you know you feel the same way or if I'm just being dramatic but I just expected it to look slightly different. It looked more solid on the website than what I'm seeing here. Of course I haven't put this in properly because I just you know it's gonna take me time to start figuring this out and I really need to get this video done for you guys um, because I have a lot of things that I need to get around to. I've got a meeting that I need to be in literally an hour so I need to make sure I quickly do this video before um, I miss my deadlines so yeah that's what the product looks like um when i eventually put everything together i'll try and take a picture and insert it here if i'm able to do that by the time this video is up okay but i just felt like you know the website made it look slightly like bigger and like thicker than what i got it's a cute little bag but i just don't know where i'll take this to especially as a mom i don't know like how many baby things i can fit in here <laughs> There's not just there's not enough room to really carry much, but it's a nice cute bag. But again, it just it's just not what I expected it to look like. You know, it's not what I was expecting pretty much. So, yep, that's the second product, and then the final product is this black tote bag again. Just a simple black bag because I feel like I don't have that many. I've got black solid bags, but I wanted something more of this nature um it's not you know i've seen these bags around but i've never really purchased one for myself it's a nice solid luxury type bag it feels so good it feels really solid it feels like it's going to be very durable um it's not too big it's not too small it's just a lovely average size um let me see in comparison to my laptop let's see so that's my laptop right there ignore the usb stick i'm supposed to remove that um so that's my laptop right there let's see if it's gonna fit in here um so yeah right off the bat my laptop fits in perfectly so it can you can carry my laptop and you can see there's still plenty of room inside the bag um i can add my ipad case there as well i can fit in quite a few things actually so it's a nice it's a nice lovely bag actually i really love the bag I really is decent I can put in a lot inside and inside the bag it's got the zip part as you can see you can zip it in uh oh okay you can zip it in as you can see which is handy and um, unlike the first pink one that only has the button some things can fall off you know if you know you're I don't know in a moving car or something but this one you can actually zip it to lock it which is amazing I think the quality is amazing from what I can see so far it's like a really solid leather um, let me bring it close for you guys to see. So you can see it's a really solid leather. Then inside the bag, of course, has the zip. Um, let's take this off. And then it's got this sort of material inside as well. I don't know what's called, but. It's just the baggy material, I guess. And you can see it has a zip inside. 
on the sides as well. And that's what the zip looks like. And it's got this extra pocket. I'm sure you can put your phone and other things in there. So this is a nice sort of day-to-day -day errand type bag. You can put in enough there and just to go about your day-to-day -day life, be it for work um, or whatever. Um, and then here as well, on this other side, it's got this extra pockets as well which is good yeah, which is amazing so this bag i think is probably the best out of the three and then of course the pink and red one is the second and then the little satchel one is the last one so these are the products that i purchased from mikari um in terms of the rating and i'll give them a seven out of ten um this is of course this review is only based on the few products that i've tried from this vendor so i hope you guys found this video useful in terms of purchasing from this wholesale vendor mikari and if these are the type of products you want to use for your website then go ahead and proceed with caution again you can go ahead and test out your products and see if it resonates with your brand and then if you feel it does then you can go on to invest in wholesale products but i always advise that you order sample packs first test the quality of the product and see what they look like before you invest high in bulk wholesale products okay and again if you don't want to wait every single week for a new wholesale vendor review you can check out the list of over 120 plus wholesale and dropshipping vendors that you can use for your online store there's going to be a link below this video don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up leave your comments down below let me know what you thought about this products and again remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on my review video when it comes out next week thursday and if you're subscribed to my email list also keep an eye on your emails because i usually send you guys emails each time a new video is up and running but ideally they're usually out around 6 p.m on a thursday which is around between 12 and 1 p.m if you're based in the united states so it's usually around out between around 12 noon to 1 p.m every single thursday so do keep an eye on your emails and your notifications so thank you guys once again for watching and i look forward to catching up with you guys next week thursday for another wholesale vendor review Bye for now.